Ah, tu es le cool, hein? is out, beautiful day. I only have one training today, which is amazing. Uh, might have some pretty cool things going on today, but today there isn't really a 100% plan for the day. But before I do anything, I need... You know, I, I can work at home, but I always prefer to work in coffee shops. But only problem of the day is, you guys know whenever you go to a coffee shop a lot, or you go to your favorite restaurant or favorite place, you have your favorite seat where you sit all the time. Um, and you know that feeling when you go there, ready to sit in your favorite spot, and someone's already there? They're in my spot. But it's all good. I'm gonna eat, work, and then off to, you already know. As you guys know, it's kind of like the end of our regular season and everything. And you guys know how people say like senioritis, your last year of high school, last year of college. Uh, it's always like that at the end of the season. If you're not, if you're, if you're battling for like the number one spot or something like that, it's not. But we've kind of sealed that spot. We've kind of sealed our position where we're going to be ranked in the league. So it's like the last couple of weeks are always just like senioritis. You know, you kind of want to go. You're ready for vacation, but you still want to play. But your body's saying it needs to break. <sighs> this is how it goes sometimes, but it's cool. Look who we got, man. This, man, you're in the, you're every day, man. You're the last like four days, man. Oh, look what he's drinking. Okay, finally, man. You already drank that other stuff, though. <laughs> okay. And now, finally, finished with training for the day. Okay, so I'm just getting home right now, just finished, uh, well, I'm showered, changed and everything. But you guys remember yesterday I ate, like, all that meat. Uh, today I can, like, almost feel it in training, how different I felt. And let's just say, not eating meat, I felt a lot better. Uh, so, for lunch today, classic, classic oatmeal, American style. Uh, they do sell that here in France. It took me, like, three years until I found that out, but they do have it. Classic oatmeal, simple for lunch. Uh, gonna eat, relax. I have about 40 something minutes. Then gotta head off to USA. So <laughs> I'm supposed to be supposed to be doing something special for the playoffs. Uh, the guy was supposed to have a special rendezvous for us this afternoon, but he's not here. We're still waiting. It's still a secret. Oh. special to our face no idea exactly what's going on but uh, it's gonna be a long time there they arrive like an hour and a half late but we got games we got entertainment
<laughs> all right, it's, it's been like one hour I'm trying to take all these off. Just want to rinse it out. And then, oh! It's so good, yo! too late this is already done uh, I don't know gotta have fun sometimes in life uh, no idea what's next we're gonna spin again okay so now in the store uh, I kind of ruined my shirt getting this whole thing done but I gotta stay in the center get some work done so uh, need a new shirt okay so I'm, I'm, when I first started vlogging it was a little bit it took a little bit of time to get used to walking around with a camera I was a little bit nervous around people and, uh, but it takes a while and then you get over it. But I'm realizing right now with this beard, it's the same thing. It's taking a little bit of time to get used to all these people uh, staring at me right in my face. <laughs> and if you guys see me looking up at the screen a lot, it's because I still can't believe this. I'll explain it why in a better, I'll explain it better later. You know, there's one thing. If I can give you guys a word, if I can give you guys a word of advice, vlogging, anything you got to do in public, and you're nervous to do it, like I'm walking around with this and filming with my beard like this, whatever you do, own it. Like own it. Like that's what you're doing. Make you feel a lot better. Trust me. Everyone's staring at me right now, but you own what you do. That's all, that's all that matters. Okay, so I'm not saying that I like need a coffee right now, but. I kind of have to work at the last, I don't know, five minutes. I'm feeling so weird, like just a different look. You know, it just takes time to adjust to. I think in like 20 minutes, I'll be okay with the image that I see in the mirror. But right now, it's still a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I don't, I don't, I actually don't even know the word, but gotta get some work done. Hopefully, I can finish before the sun sets. Uh, and then, uh... Uh, okay, so as you guys can see, the sun is like setting I'm actually back here at my home. Uh, taking a little break because uh, tomorrow, I guess I haven't explained really like what all this is going on. Hold on, let me let me make a tripod out of these cans. Okay, I guess I haven't explained what's going on with my team. But tomorrow, it's like our last, it's our last home game here in Angers for sure, and it's our first playoff game. We're playing the best of three games uh, versus another team that one of my friends played for that you guys will recognize from the vlog if you follow me last year. Um, but we're playing against them, but the first game is here at home at our place. So we, we all have decided to do something. We started off talking about socks and then maybe all having the same shoes or the same something else. And then someone said something about hair or beard, blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, we all schedule an appointment. We all have dyed our hair or our beard or our eyebrows, something. Everyone has done something like this. So that's the reason kind of uh, behind this whole thing. It wasn't just something I know as spontaneous as I am. This is a little bit uh, on the extreme side, but that's basically why we're doing it. And then after, uh, hopefully I'll be back to normal, but I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of growing on me actually. You know, I, I, I'm getting used to it a little bit, but still it's, yeah, nah, nah, it's okay uh, for the team. But now I'm gonna head out because this is my last game here in Angers. Gonna head to a nice little restaurant and this restaurant will be my last pre-game meal at this restaurant that I've been going to every, almost almost before every single game and uh, this is officially the last time here at this restaurant. But um, yeah, gotta 
think of a best way to explain this easily. But uh, it's okay. Uh, time for the restaurant. I am starving. Okay, so just here at the restaurant right now. Uh, <laughs> normally, like normally, I'm always, this is the restaurant right here. Normally, I'm always sitting there, kind of in the corner, quiet. But the one time that I come here uh, with my face like this, uh, there's uh, there was actually no places when I arrived, so I'm like smack right in the middle of everything. But it's all good. Um, but pregame for me is usually usually. I like to have my pregame meals, even if I'm going to dinner with people, I like to have time to myself. I'm not sure if I've ever told you guys that, but pregame, I like to, you know, the night before the game at my dinner, I like to always relax and have some time to myself. If I'm with people at dinner, I always have to leave uh, and at least have a few minutes to myself to just kind of think. And actually, when I'm thinking, it's never about the game. It's always just of nothing. You know, whenever I'm with people, we talk about the game. But, you know, I really, I really believe in just... You know, I don't like to get too worked up or, or put too much energy into it the night before. So it's always usually chill and relax. And then usually when I'm here, no meat, but I do have a little bit of fish every now and then. Uh, and it's good. Merci. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of back home. I was I was in the center. I was like, I'm gonna ride to the castle and just watch kind of the end of the sunset. Um, but you know, my my energy kind of was telling me kind of like I know you guys probably can't take me serious with my face looking like this, but seriously, on a serious note, like I know in the vlog it always seems like I'm going place to place, nonstop moving. But I really do believe in like following my energy is really a big thing for me. And uh, you know, on a night like tonight where I feel like like I say going to the castle and chilling. It's just saying, come home, relax and chill. Maybe look at myself in the mirror for a little bit of time, trying to get used to this reflection of who I am. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, great day, fun day. But a little bit different than normal, as you guys can see. This is, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, but anyways, it's cool. One of the best feelings is knowing that you're not alone and knowing I did this with like seven, eight other of my teammates makes me feel a little bit better when I'm with them, but when I'm just kind of by myself walking around, holding, walking around and holding the camera up like this in public with everyone staring at me, uh, I, I can start to feel my nerves a little bit like, <gasps> So as far as playing the rest of the day, shutting it down for the day, relaxing, I'm uh, going to get back to some of your comments. Big game tomorrow. Um, hold on, I need to speak in French real quick. Pour tous les gens qui venir à la match, je vais donner toutes mes chaussures et tous les vêtements et tout ça. Uh, après le match, si tu veux rester, uh, just telling you guys, anyone who's coming to the game, after the game, giving away, I got, I don't know, seven, eight pair of shoes. My practice shoes, giving those away after the game, so stay after the game. Give them away to first come, first serve kind of ordeal. But um, yeah, that's kind of it. Going to get some rest right now for the game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this vlog was kind of entertaining. And do I look really, does it look really crazy? I know some of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it, but... Uh, <laughs> I know it looks crazy, but thank you guys seriously all so much for, for your comments, and it really means a lot. I, I think I'll probably say that forever. As long as I'm doing vlogs, I will always say that because it always means so much to me, your comments. So keep them coming. I'll talk to all of you guys later, and everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.